Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use app.diagrams.net or how to use Draw.io for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to access Draw.io or app.diagrams.net. So you can basically access this via any browser. So right now I'm using Google Chrome. So in this case, let's go to our URL here. Just type in draw.io. Just press on enter and immediately you'll be redirected to the main UI for draw.io or app.diagrams.net. Now in this case, you have two options here. So you can either create a new diagram or open an existing diagram. So in this case, if you like, for example, want to continue a previously made diagram and you have the file for it, you just choose the option open existing diagram here and you'll be able to upload the previous file that you just uh, recently made or previously made. Now in this case, uh, since I re recently or previously use it, it's going to give me the option to use the .draw, draw .io file here that I made. But in this case, we want to create a new one. So let's go ahead and click on create new diagram. Now in the main UI here, what we need to do is we need to provide information on what we need to do and what is going to be the name of our file here. So at the top section, you should see the file name. So in this case, you want to name this property. Like for example, I want to say that this is a sample file here. So in here, we also have the option to choose whether it's an XML file, which is a.draw.io, but we also have the option to save this as PNG, SVG, or HTML. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, click on draw.io here since we want to go back to this specific uh, file that we recently or previously made. Now in this case, you have uh, different options here. So currently in the basics here, you have different formats, like for example, diagrams, floor chart, organization charts, and a lot more. So if you're not familiar yet with how to use Draw.io, well, there's a lot of ways for you to use it. For example, if you want to make a simple flow, uh, flow chart, like for example, you want to discuss a, or you want to visualize the exact process of a specific project or a specific system that you want to create, or if you want to create user diagrams or mockups, which actually uh, gives you the option to basically create mockups. So if you're not yet aware yet of mockups, these are basically visualizations of steps. Like for example, you have screens or mobile screens here. I'll also be showing you how to add mobile screens here, which is something really cool there because sometimes uh, mockups are actually paid, but with draw.io or diagrams.net, this one is simply for free. So in this case, what we need to do is just basically choose whatever we need. So we have engineering, flow, uh, flow charts, maps, and a lot more. But for now, we're just going to go with basic and with a blank diagram here and just click on create. Now, once we click on create, it's going to ask us where do we want to download or uh, basically place it. Now, in this case, you could go all, go ahead and also choose a different location. Like for example, at the very beginning, you have the option to choose whether you want to basically save this locally. So since I chose locally, it's going to basically uh, re redirect me into my uh, UI or in my main or local uh, disk drive here. But if you choose like for example, Google uh, GitHub or Google Drive, you just need to connect your accounts and you'll be able to save your Draw.io files within those platforms. But for now, let's just go ahead and just type in the name here and from here just go ahead and just click on save and from here we'll be able to start editing our file so immediately when you first see it it might be overwhelming at first so i'll be discussing other things that you could do here so first thing is we have the main or top section here so we have files edit view arrange extras help so similarly with how uh, documents or excel files work we have this, so for example, if you want to create a new one, open, open recent, or want to save this one, or save, this is where you basically do those things. Now here we also have the edit, so this is basically uh, the things that you could do, like for example, you did something and you don't want to, you want to reverse it, you, know, you could go ahead and click on edit here, just click on redo, but they also have shortcuts here, so I'll be showing you how to use their shortcuts as well. Now here at the next section here, we have our uh, uh, panels so we have shapes formats rulers if you want to include rulers as you can see this is where we'll be able to add our rulers if you want to remove that just click on rulers again and here we also have the magnification so currently it is set to 100 but if you want to further mag uh, magnify it go ahead 
And in here we have our trash or delete icon, the redo, undo, and we also have the to front and to back option. So uh, for example, you have multiple shapes on top of each other, you have the option to basically send this to back or send this to front. So either ways. Now in this case, how do you start adding your shapes? So at the left side here, this is the panel where our shapes is located. So in this case, you also have the option to use the scratch pad option here. So if you click on it, like for example, uh, so if you edit on it, you'll be able to drag images here or you are else to basically add this that one. Like for example, you could go ahead and use that. Now here, if you want to use like basic strap shapes, what you need to do is just press and hold on it and basically you'll be able to edit or add it into this uh, workspace that we have. So by the way, this is our main workspace here. This is where we add uh, all the shapes that we have. Now in this case, yeah, going back, you'll be able to basically just add, start adding your shapes here or whatever uh, way you want. So in this case, we also have the stick person here. So if you want to use that as well. Now here at the bottom side here or in the left uh, bottom side here, we have miscellaneous. There are other shapes that you could also use it in here depending on what type uh, you are currently using. So we also have the advanced options here. So these are advanced shapes. And we also have the flow chart, flow charts, chart section here where in most of the shapes here are for flow charts. So the icons or symbols here or the shapes itself has a distinct meaning to it. So if you want to learn more about that, you could go ahead and, and how to use those. Now in this case, if you don't see what the shape that you want to use, you could also click on more shapes and in here we'll be able to see other shapes. So oh, like what I said before, you could also make uh, templates or mockups here. As you can see, we have Android devices as well and also the icon for Android as well. So if you want to add that, you can go ahead and click on the next or check next to Android here. Click on apply and uh, from here, you should be able to see the Android section now added. So if you click on it and when you drag the icons needed, as you can see, we were able to add Android into our screen here. Now at the right side here, you might be wondering what's the right side here, where the right side here is most likely more about our uh, settings on our diagrams here as well as the styles. So depending on what you're clicking right now, you'll be able to edit the setting or style for that. In this case, since I click on my background here, I'll be able to basically uh, show the grid if I want to. Also show the page view if you want to limit that. For example, this is the only part that's going to be captured when I save this one. We also have the availability of cha uh, changing the background color. Uh, for example, I want to make this uh, in white. So you could go ahead and just drag it into white, click on apply, and so you can see white is now its color. Now, as well, you also have the option to add shadows. If you want to add shadows into your shapes here, you could go ahead and also you could go ahead and use the sketch function here. So let's go ahead and click on this one. And yeah, again, it's going to be the other option. So we have connection arrows, connection points, guides, and a lot more. So if you click on the right side here, we have the style. So you could change the style for your shapes. As you can see, it's going to change the overlook of the shapes that we have right now. But when you click on a specific shape here, you'll be able to change the color or the style for it. As you can see, I'm able to change the color for this mobile device. And again, in here you have the feel, the gradients. If you are, you want it to be artistic, you go and use the gradient here, as well as the line if you want to add that. Now here you also have a parameter, opacity if you want to change those, sketch, shadow, edit, copy style, set as default style. Now you could go ahead and edit those, but uh, the next thing that we want to do here is we also have the other tabs here as well, depending on what you have. So right now we have text. So in this case, we will be able to edit our text here. And for example, if you want to add text within the shape, double click on it and just say, I want to say hi. So here is the text, but you could change it to italic or underline if you want to as well. And yeah, so these are the settings that you change for your text. Here, arrange is going to be the options for you to basically arrange the, the shape itself within your UI here. You could connect, you could make it to front, go it to back, and a lot more. 
Now in this case, how do you connect your shapes? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So as you can see, we have points here. So what we need to do is you could go ahead and hover over those points. And as you can see, we have these points here. For example, I want to drag this point here. And from here, it's going to resize that shape. But in here, you have your arrow. So if you click on it, you'll be able to basically create an arrow. Now in this case, just to make things a lot brighter, I want to change the color uh, since I can't see my here can see my shape. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on the arrow again. Like for example, in this arrow, I could go ahead and just point it into this user here. Now in this case, there are only specific sections or uh, location where you could point your arrow. Like for example, you see the X marks or the marks within those icons or in your uh, uh, UI or shape here. Well, once the section or that section or that shape actually is, has to lighten up, you'll be able to notice that the shape is now connected. So whenever we move our shape here, you'll notice that the shape itself will move. Like an example, when also moving your shapes, you have to ensure that it's actually that have this icon here on my mouse. As if you don't have it, you're just making a new arrow like that. Now in this case, you can go ahead and just move your shape here. As you can see, it's going to follow the shape as well. Now, if you want to resize or re rotate your shape here, again, you can go ahead and just press and hold on this one. But sometimes it might not be the organized way. So, for example, want to undo that, just click, hit on Control Z. And if you want to have a uh, consistent enlargement here, just press and hold on shape and you'll be able to resize it. Now, one more cool trick that you could do here is you could also press on your space bar. And from here, you'll be able to pan around your UI or in your workspace here, which is uh, some, something really helpful, especially if you have a very, very big process that you're building here. But yeah, so once you're done and once you're satisfied what you're doing right now, what you need to do is just click on file at the top right, hit on save, and your changes will now be saved in the location where you chosen to save your draw IO file. Now in this case, if you want to save this in another format, you could go ahead and just click on Save As. And from here, you could choose another format. So you have PNG, SVG, and a lot more. So for example, you want to save this as PNG. Go ahead and just uh, say, let's just want to say this is a test. Hit on Save, and you'll be able to save that, this one. Now in this case, when we go back into our folder here, as you can see, when we double click, on it it's going to give us the option to view our shape and here it is but yeah so that's about it so this one is pretty simple and that's it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video